Hey, what is up? That is not my intro. Let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you. What's happening? Sometimes I feel like that intro is really silly, but I kind of like it. Diggy's in here. I think she needs assistance. Hold. Okay, I'm back. What is up? I am Stacy. If you did not know, I. I feel like it's a necessity to say that because some of you may not know, some of you may be new and you're probably like, who is this chick? What's her name? I mean, the name is in the title. I hope that you are doing absolutely, fantastically, wonderfully well and it's almost Christmas after Thanksgiving. I felt like crazy eyes when I did that because you know she does that a lot. To the point, I like my hoodie. Do you like my hoodie? It says, babes only. So, babes only. I loved it because it said babes only and to me well I guess babes to many different people mean many different things but to me babes mean like women like girls I don't know enough of that I love doing these I mean I can tell that a lot of people don't really like these like a lot of whoever views my stuff finds these to be kind of boring but it's okay because I love to do them and I'm so happy I got another opportunity to do this so we're gonna do this because it's tasty I love I just love tasting snacks from all over the world so this is what we're gonna do right now and this time I got a munch pack I got I got I got another another munch pack sounds funny but it's true here it is munch pack I did another one of these. This is really cool. And they put this together for me. Uh, Jason. Thanks so much to Jason. Jason, the astronaut, who made this for me. I don't really know if he's an astronaut, but uh, according to this munch pack was made with love, just for you, by Jason. It is. I don't know if I'm supposed to be the astronaut or who he is, because... Anyway, that's not important. So, let's get started. I've got so many things that I'm going to show you. Yeah, so, babes only. Okay, so, let's get to this. The first thing... It's this thing, this little thing I seen, and I said, ooh, you got a cat. Look, he's just like, it's funny. They have a snack scanner, so I'm gonna use that. This is my snack scanner. So this, this thing, right, that, like, see, like, you can see me. Oh, oh, that's a bad angle. Well, that, right, is what you see, and then you scan it, and then it pops up with the info. So this says, Kids Mania Wacky. Gives you the price, gives you a little description, and it gives you the option of buying it again if you want it to buy again. And it also tells you where it's from, so this is apparently from Mexico. I have never, mm. okay. This snack is straight up wacky. Sweet and crunchy candies are the icing on top of the monkey cake with a toy that you can clap all day long. Fun fact, the miniature spider monkey can hold all of its weight with just its tail. That's its tail. Say no more, wacky little monkey. Let's try you. Okay. I don't know how that... I'm gonna open this. Oh, there it is. So you just, you know, unzip it. I mean, not unzip it, untwist it. Do you think they're gonna be chewy or hard? I think they're gonna be hard. Oh. They're hard. I almost broke my teeth. Hmm. Yeah. This is what they look like. Little tiny little things. Real little. Cute. And that was the Wacky Monkey. All right, Wacky Monkey's done. Wacky Monkey. Same thing. All right, let's try these. Now, I have a video that's gonna come out. Not so sure when, because I am in total mess right now. I don't know where all my videos are at. I'm in the process of cleaning out some of my hard drives and trying to find other things, and then I don't have any room to upload anything or to import anything. It's a mess. But Aiden from Ireland sent me a box filled with nothing but Irish treats. Pretty awesome. Babes only. And they had this brand, the Tato or Taito. I don't know how they pronounce it, but to me that's Tato. Like potato, like this is Tato, like this is Mr. Tato. And he the, he the owner, you know, he the one, he the face of the company. Mr. Tato is the face of the company. I had chips like this that were onion, French onion or onion, just onion flavored chips, right? These are sour cream and onion, potato crisps with real bite. You guys should hire me to be some of your, your spokespersons, you know? You can't flatten the taste of a potato, a potato. Never mind, I take that back, don't hire me. No, actually, yes, you guys should hire me because look what I can do. <clears throat> you can't flatten the taste of a potato ripple. But looking away, I'll get better once I memorize this, you know? Oh, here's another one. Potato ripples are extra chunky. I thought I read that wrong. <laughs> Let me try it again. Potato ripples are extra chunky, extra tasty. Crinkle? <laughs> okay, let me try that one more game, one more game. I promise I could do this, I could do this, watch. <clears throat> That's just for added effect. Tato ripples are extra crunchy. No, that was not it. That wasn't it, I meant to say chunky. Tato ripples? Tato- 
<laughs> what are ripples? Tato ripples. Am I saying this right? Everything sounds wrong now. I've been saying it too many times that it sounds wrong. Tato ripples. Tato ripples are extra chunky, extra tasty. Crinkle potato crisps. 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 Potato crisps. <clears throat> this is the last time I'm gonna try. <clears throat> Tato ripples, stop looking at me. You're looking at me funny. The dog's in here and he's looking at me funny. It's sticky, by the way. Tato ripples are extra chunky, extra tasty, crinkled potato chips. Crisps. I forget you guys call them crisps over there. Tato ripples are extra chunky, extra tasty, crinkled potato crisps with real bite. Didn't I just read that? Enough of this. Let's scan it and let's see what it's all about. Sound like I said, all aboard. All aboard the Tato crisps. Ripples. Tato ripples. These are from Ireland, as I presumed, because of the other ones that I've had before. This is two dollars. Get ready to get rid of your American bag of sour cream and onion chips and let Tato take over. Hey, be nice. We're gonna find out right now if that's true though. These rigid chips can't have their flavor of rich natural sour cream and onion be flattened. Fun fact, Tato was started by Joe Spud Murphy in 1954 and became one of Ireland's first large snack companies. Also, it gives you the option of adding it to the cart. I don't know if you could do that. This is what a ripple, triple, chunky, crispy wrist. This is what a ripple extra crunchy tato tato crinkled potato crisp with a wrinkly bite on real bite. Let's try it. Oh. Looks like. Let's try it. That's what I meant to say. This is actually bombastic. Okay, for real, let me just say American bag of sour cream and onion chips. I'm sorry to say this, but they're winning over you. Only these have like a little sweet taste to it. Like, mmm, babes only kind of taste, you know? But then they go into that like sour cream and onion taste. Pretty good. Next. Now, I am not a fond of clowns. I'm not a fond. I'm not a fond. I'm not fond of clowns. They scare me. They freak me out. I've never liked them. No offense to anybody whose parents are clowns or if you're a clown and you, you do that as a, you know, a job. No offense. You guys are scary though. I ain't gonna lie. But these are gummies. Anybody like those circus peanuts? I've been wanting to get some again to try them because I distinctly remember what they taste like, but I don't think I really liked them. These are three bucks. These are called Vital Gummy Circus Clowns. Crowns. Clowns? Clowns. And they're from Spain. España. Ooh. Oh, and it also gives you an option to rate it and you can also review it, which I thought was pretty cool. So maybe I'll go back and rate them. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see, man. We'll see. You can go to the circus every day with these gummies. Flavored like cotton candy with a little bit of cherry flavor in the nose. Ooh, that's fun. These are the best way to cure a fear of clowns. Oh my goodness. Did you hear what I was just talking about? Fear of clowns. Is this a sign? I don't think this is going to cure me, though. Fun fact, August 1st to the 7th is recognized as International Clown Week. Great. That is beautiful to know because that is when I will not be outside around anywhere near clowns. There's all different kinds. Oh, ho, ho. This is freaky. Prepare yourself. This is literally freaky. Look at this. This is like a full-on freaky clown. And I don't mean freaky in the sheets. I mean freaky like if you see this in the streets, you're gonna run and hide under the sheets. It looks nothing like this sweet little clown right here, but he's probably one of the neatest one of all. These look exactly like the clown in The Dark Knight where, you know, they have the mask, where the Joker has a mask. This is exactly what it looks like to me. You know, Spain, I just want to say one little thing. These might be really delicious. I'm about to find out right now. But this ain't a way to cure anybody from clown fright, okay? Clown phobias, this ain't gonna cure it. I don't care if this tastes like the best type of clown candy I've ever tried. It's not gonna. I just, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But I'm gonna try the nose because this is what to be cherry. Oh, sh yeah. Do I taste the cherry? I've never had Spain candy. I've never had candy from Spain. I taste the cherry a little bit. Okay. Well, these are good for being gummies. I do kind of taste like cotton candy. Sweet. Not bad. Those are actually pretty good. All right, next. So this arrived a little broken in my box. You know, it's a little broken. But it's okay. We all are broken at times. Doesn't mean that we're not still freaking fantastic, 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 delicious, amazing on the inside. I'm assuming these are like chewy. What are they called? A, a high chew. Hi chew. That bless me. Thank you. I think. These are three dollars, and they're called Chewits, black currant flavor, and they're from the United Kingdom. And it says Chewits are delicious fruit flavored chewable candies that come in a variety of your favorite fruit colors. This one being black currant flavor. I'm gonna try this black currant flavor. UK, I'm trying a little bit of you. Oh, they're hard. Oh, my tooth almost broke out. But the flavor is good. Mm-hmm. Good though. Whatever black currant is, which I've heard before, is good, and I like it. And a little dino on here. It's not nearly as scary as that clown. I'm gonna have some potatoes. 
This one, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared to try it. It's a pumpkin roll. I just need to find the barcode. How am I supposed to scan this? Maybe there's none on here. How am I supposed to know where it's from? Maybe I'll just have to search it in the search option. Pumpkin roll. How come I don't, I don't see it? In the meantime, I'm gonna open this. <gasps> What is this? It smells like coffee. Is it coffee? It says delicious food on here. Well, we're gonna find out how delicious you is. As soon as I figure out where the heck you're from. Probably from like Asia, but I just don't know what part of Asia because I can't read this. All I can read is delicious food. N99. And I'm assuming that's scents. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. It's not popping up, but. So it just has like a little roll in it. Like, I don't know if you can see that. All right, let me try it. I don't think it has coffee at all, but that was actually good. How do I explain it? You know shortbread, how like when you bite into it, it just like kind of crumbles in a way? It was like that, but not exactly shortbread, obviously, but it was in that form like you crumble and you're like, okay, that I know what it is. Cheetos, Cheeto puffs, you know when you bite into it, they like just, shh, they flatten. Okay, that's what it tasted like. Not like that airy, but like you bite them or like if you do this with them and you squish them, that's what like it felt like when I was crunching into it. And the inside just tasted good. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like I didn't taste pumpkin flavor, but I tasted like fall flavor. You know what I mean? Like fall flavor. Really good. I liked it. <laughs> I'm gonna try a dino something. I don't know what this is. This is what it is. Hopefully this has a barcode on it so I could actually tell you what it is. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, let me scan this. Alright, this is called Stone Age. Well, I don't know because I can't really tell what it is. Stone Age Chuck from South Korea. I've actually been to South Korea. It was really, really beautiful there. And this is $3, okay? This is tres dólares, tres dolaritos. These dinosaur eggs are here to fill your mouth up with chocolatey goodness. Sorry, I sound Canadian right now. Sorry, dinosaurs, but you're just gonna have to stay extinct if your eggs taste this rich. That's a little messed up. Imagine if dinosaurs actually existed though. So let me just taste what these little dinosaurs eggs taste. Oh, they're so cute. How did they create this? I don't think you can see it, but it has chocolate. I always wanted to taste something like this. Look, this one's like halfway hatching. I don't know if you can see that. It's like hatching, but they're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crunchy chocolate, kind of like M&M's, but a thinner coat, different tasting chocolate. And I like them. Nice. Six more things. Are you ready for this? I don't know if we should try. Let's try these. Actually, no. Let's try these. I don't know what the heck they are. Oh, it's upside down. This is three dollars. This is latte. Well, I don't know how to say, it, but in English we be called we be saying that lati. Okay, that's how I pronounce L O T T E, lati. Could be lotte, latte, lotte, latte, 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 I don't know. Elote, you know. Pikachu Ram. I can't read the rest because, well, I can't understand this. Oh, it says Pikachu Ramune. Or Ramune, or Ramune, or I don't know. Ramuni, Ramuni, you know. You know, you guys from Japan and those who know how to say this know exactly what I'm talking about because I can't pronounce it. Yes, three bucks, Japan. This candy tastes so good, it's electrifying. Oh, is it? <laughs> Babes only. Strawberry on the outside, melon or watermelon on the inside. <gasps> That's magical. I can see why it's electrifying. And Pikachu approved. Whoa. Fun fact, the original planned mascot for the Pokemon series was Clefairy. But Pikachu proved more popular with the players of original games. Oh, Pikachu. Look at you, the little underdog. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so they're pink on the outside, right? They're all pink. Whoa. I can't tell that was strawberry or watermelon. I can't tell what that was either. But I can tell you that it was good. I think that was honeydew melon or melon. I don't know if honeydew melon was an option, but it's white on the inside. The outside was like a hard candy. Kind of like fruit candies that come in shapes like the runts, 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 runts. They're like that, like that kind of like hard to bite, you know? And the inside is kind of the similar, but I don't remember what the inside is similar because I don't really like those, especially not the banana ones. So the inside of these kind of have like that, like pixie dust kind of texture to it. So like when you bite into it, like it kind of like crumbles. I don't know the exact word. And I thought that was pretty cool. So you go, Pikachu. Next, let's try Chiki Choco Banana. So let's scan this. This is a dollar. <gasps> okay, Chiki Choco Banana from Costa Rica. Oh my God, this is the first time I try anything from Costa Rica. This is so awesome. These delicious and crunchy and filling chocolate banana dipped cookies make for a great snack any time of the day. Make sure to dip them in milk for the best combination. Fun fact, Costa Rica is known for being a tourism location with over 2 million visitors every year. Oh my god, that's awesome. I was actually really close to going to Costa Rica one time. But I never went. One day I will go. I did not know that this was Costa Rica. This box is from all over the place. It's awesome. Oh, these look bomb. Look at that. It's a little thing that says cheeky on it. And on the back it says, uh, it doesn't say anything. I mean, it has chocolate. That's what I meant to say. All right. I'm not getting flavor yet. There's not much flavor to it. So if you don't like super sweet stuff, or like cookies and stuff like that, 
that would be perfect for you. It honestly has no flavor to me, like, other than, like, very light, like, light chocolate and just, like, a crunchy cookie. But it doesn't taste like anything in particular. But it was interesting. I thought it was going to be, like, full of flavor, like, it would taste like banana or something. But it don't taste like banana. And it definitely don't taste like monkey. Not that I've had monkey any before. I'm just kidding. No, I haven't. No, I really, I didn't know. I thought it was going to taste like banana or a little bit more chocolate. But it's just light and simple. And there's nothing wrong with being light and simple. Now I really want to try it with milk just to see. Maybe it'll, like, get soft and you, like, you'll bite into it and it'll be great. I don't know. All right. Next. These are strawberry bonbons. Or maybe they would be, like, bonbons. I don't know. It has to speak in French. I just like to pretend like I know the accent. These are strawberry artificial flavored candy. So let's see what this tastes like, what it is. Let's scan it. All right. Where's the scan board? There's no scan on here either. There's no barcode. Oh, come on. I need to know what the hell this is. It's not showing me nothing. Okay, so I don't know what the heck this is, but as I can tell, this is probably from France. Yeah, it says product of France. Actually, I just seen it right now. These are called strawberry artificial flavored candies. So let's try this. Oh, this smells so strawberry. Oh, they have like a little bit of dust on the outside. Maybe they're gonna be gum. Are they gonna be gum? They're not gonna be gum. But they're good. They have that like, what can I compare it to? Like that. Ooh, I know. Now and laters. That's what they remind me of. Now and laters. I'll put it. Just roll up into little balls. Not as bold of a flavor as now and later's, but the flavor's still there. And the chewiness texture, still there. And yeah. So let's move on. They're stuck to my teeth though. I don't really like things that get stuck to my teeth. It's just hard to get out. Okay, I have three more things left. I've got Thakis, which we already know. I've got this drink. And I've also got this cowtail. So I think I'm gonna try the cowtail last. Cowtail, cowtail, cowtail. And this next. So these are Thaki's zombie. Never had it. Zombie nitro flavor. <gasps> Habanero and cucumber? I never heard of that. Also, it says right here, the level of very hot is three out of four. We'll see, because I can be a baby girl for spicy stuff. I don't know why I just did that. I just thought it was appropriate. Okay, let's scan this. I have a feeling these are going to be from Mexico. Right. I was right. Not because I'm Mexican or anything. Or you can buy them at Mexican stores most often. $3 for these. Barcel Takis Zombie. Mexico. These cucumber, lime, and habanero flavored Takis are a must try for any fan of Takis or lime flavored chips. To say they are addictive is an understatement. They only come around during the fall, so get some while they last. Why? Because in the fall, that's when zombies come? Honestly, I don't know. I don't really know much about zombies. So. Ooh, but these are green, mean, and look like a zombie robed skin. They're green. All right, let's try this. Mm, I'm scared. <gasps> it's already hot, but I do taste the cucumber. Oh, I don't want to do this. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, I'm hung. Whatever you do, don't roll it on your tongue. Don't roll it back and forth. Uh, I could feel it. Let's try another one. It's actually good though. To me, I taste the cucumber flavor. It is spicy for the habanero. Ooh, there's a little hint of limon in there, which makes it good because I like the original takis with the chile and limon. That's the original ones. I don't know, but I like those. These are good. Definitely worth trying, especially if you love like pepino, which is cucumber, and chile, which is chili. <laughs> you know, like powdered chili, you like that, that flavor and that stuff like that. You should try it if you like spicy stuff. I only had two in my mouth is starting to get on fire. So let's drink this. This. I'm excited for I had this in the fridge when I first got it. I opened it to see what was there. Because mostly every drink tastes better when it's cold. Mostly carbonated drinks, which I think this is carbonated. Is it carbonated? Are you carbonated? Hmm, yeah, it is carbonated. Apple carbonated drink tastes way better when they're cold. So let's scan this and see where it's from. Oh, it has no caffeine in it, no feeling of soda beverage, no caffeine, no preservatives. Ooh, what does that mean? Oh, it's made in Korea. So I'm assuming this is from Korea. Let's check. This is $5, so that means it better. Loti, Lotte, there's that word again. Milky's Apple, South Korea. A Korean classic in a new fruity flavor. This creamy, refreshing soda is perfect, chilled or warm. Fun fact, Milky's was first introduced in 1989 in its classic flavor. You know, I was probably being created. That's bad to talk about, but to think about, I should say. Not talk about, because hey, here I am after a year later. You know, if that was the point. But I was not yet Stacy. I was a plan, maybe. I don't know if I was planned, actually. I think I was planned. Was I planned? I don't know. I'm gonna have to find out. We've talked about this before, but I don't remember if I was an oopsie baby or a plan, maybe. I think I was planned. I think I was planned. Let's go with I was planned. I'll get back to you on that one. Oh, it smells delicious. Um, what was I saying? 
I forgot. Something about this being... Okay, let's try this. Well, there. I took a giant gulp. Ooh, it tastes like apple juice. With minimal amounts of carbonation. What you're hearing in the back is my Christmas lights banging my wall. Banging against my wall, sorry. Banging against my wall. Because I was over there. Anyways. I'm gonna tell you what this tastes like, okay? It might sound weird, but it tastes like apple juice watered down with a little bit of carbonation. I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it. Also, I was gonna be like, hey, I can drink this whole entire thing without feeling the bubbliness of the carbonation attacking my throat, but I can't because I just felt it right now. I started to feel a little bit, not all of it. But um, this is like really, this is light. If you wanna just like have like a little juice taste, but like also carbonation from a soda. What is that? Is it my spider web? I don't like spider webs. This would be your girl or boy whatever you want it to be but it's not bad and last but not least this cowtail the cow cowtails this looks like it's gonna be delicious it's a crispy rice with cowtail bits utterly delicious i don't get it utterly like udder like udders no cacao i have a feeling this is from the uk i might be wrong let's see let's see drum roll please and it's from the United States. Okay, so maybe somewhere in the United States. That's funny though, because I've actually heard of cowtails, but I don't know why I thought it wasn't from here. I thought it wasn't from here. I thought it was from some other place, from another country. I don't know. I've never. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen this here. Maybe I have. Cowtails crispy m, crispy moo. Mm. Three dollars from the United States, and it says this snack has the perfect combination of crispy rice and marshmallow with little bits of cowtail chunks. Cowtails chunks. <gasps> well, maybe we have cowtails here, and that's what they added in here. Hmm. Huh. Possibilities are endless. Throughout, definitely a delightful treat to enjoy. Fun fact. Well, this is gonna be hard to pronounce. Go it goats. Goatsy launched the cowtail line of sweet treats in 1984. I wasn't even planning then. Okay, let's try this. Where are the cowtail? Oh, look it. It's in here. Very interesting. Let's try this. You ready? This is so good. I taste the Rice Krispie Treat. Not 100% of the Rice Krispie Treat brand, like, like this actual thing, but I do taste like the Rice Krispie. Well, I don't know what that cow tails is, but it has like the consistency of like dried date, you know? Mm. And I taste the chocolate on top. That was actually really good. I don't know why I've never heard of that here in California. Well, in the United States, I should say. Maybe they don't have that in California, I don't know. But I have seen cow tails, the candy, but I just don't never seen this before. Maybe I have. I don't know, I'm still confused about that. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have now finished. I think I finished everything. I love doing these things. I've never tried Costa Rica candy, Costa Rican candy. So if I hadn't gotten this box and I hadn't tried it, I would have never tried Costa Rican candy unless I went or unless I was somehow offered Costa Rican candy or if I went somewhere that had Costa Rican candy and I was like, yeah, I want to buy some and try some. I rhymed. But other than that, I would have never tried it. So thank you so much to Munchpack and Jason for putting this together for me and sending it my way for me to open and just try a little bit of everything. There's stuff from the United States that I had never even tried. There's a lot of things from the United States that I haven't even tried, candies and snack-wise. It's so cool. So there's a little bit of South Korea in here. There's a little bit of UK, Spain, Costa Rica, Japan, you know, all those cool places. Ireland, oh my goodness, it was so cool. Don't mean to leave anybody out though. If you're ever interested in anything like this, I always have links down below. And sometimes I do have codes for you, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I am in the affiliate program, which means I will make a little bit of commission if somebody were to buy something. Don't let that affect your decision. You buy it if you want. If you do, you do and if you don't you don't okay so listen to this there's a link down below munchpack.com slash backslash whatever the heck you want to call it i call it a slash on a string which is my channel name you know the ending of my channel name for this i do have a three dollars off your very first order um and so if you want that you have to click on the link below in order to get that three dollars off apply to your first oh, 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 order i am affiliated with them if you do make a sale i just need you to know that i will be making a little bit of money off of it okay you know what i'm saying it's just a commission just a little bit but I'm just being honest with you, I will make some commission. So, I don't want that to affect your decision or anything like that. And yeah, I think that's all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have ever tried any of these, please let me know below. Because I'm very interested. I'm interested because I had never, like I said, the cowtails. Like, I hadn't tried it and it's from the United States, so you'd think I would have tried it. 
or at least known about it and like I said I'm so confused about that but this is why I love these boxes I'm sorry if this isn't the kind of video that you like to watch there are many out there who do like it and others that don't I think it's entertaining maybe for me more than it is for you but I love it and I definitely will do these because that's what I love to do so Thank you so much for everybody that did watch this and watched it all the way through. I love you guys very much. And thank you so, so much to Munchpack. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for just being here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to follow all my social medias. And before I go, remember, there's one thing that I always gotta tell you. If there's one thing that I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs or lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good. Be grateful and stay humble. Bye, guys. Nice.